I'm a very disciplined writer, and I think that comes from my time working as a journalist. I was eight years a journalist, and I was a scriptwriter for television for eight years. Um, one of the things you you don't have as either a journalist or a scriptwriter, I was working in soap opera, 104 episodes a year. It's push, push, push. So you write fast. You, you know, there's no going back. There's no saying, I've, I, can't, I, you know, I can't come up with an idea today. You have to come up with an idea today. You have to do it. Um, and I think I brought that into the writing of, of my books. And so, I, you know, when I get an idea, I will spend several months researching it, developing the idea until the point where I, I kind of pretty much know where it's going and who my characters are. And then I write a very detailed synopsis, about 20,000 words. Um, it's a long piece of work. I write it very fast. I write it in five, six days. And it's kind of then, it's, that's the miniature of the book. And the difference between, say, writing the whole book at that stage and writing the synopsis is that it's short enough and small enough that I can step back and see it as a whole, see where the problems lie and fix them if I have to at that point. And then, you know, when I'm happy with the synopsis, I'll start writing. And again, I write very fast. I get up at six in the morning, I write 3,000 words a day. Come hell or high water, it's 3,000 words. I finish on the 3,000th word because I have evolved this philosophy that if, even if it's in the middle of a sentence, if you know what you're going to write next, you don't have a problem facing a blank sheet of paper the following morning. You just straight into it again and you're off and running. So I never have writer's block. Um, and the book is written in six, seven, maximum eight weeks. Um, so it's a fast process. And I d I'm mostly I kind of hit the ground running with the first draft. I mean, there'd be a bit of tinkering with it, a bit of polishing, but mostly um, it's there. I'm not one of those people who like to go through five, six, seven, eight drafts. The synopsis acts like a kind of safety net for me um, because <clears throat> it maps out literally scene by scene how the book is going to be structured. But then, of course, there's a lot of stuff missing from it. And, and, and as you work through it, it does evolve. So, I'm, I mean, I don't feel chained by it. I'm not restricted by it. It's just my safety net. So that I, I'm never worrying when I'm writing about where the story is going to go. If it goes in an unexpected direction, that's good. That's great. That's organic. That's a nice thing to happen. Um, but I'm never sitting there scratching my head saying, where should this go now? Because I know I've thought it through. Um, and everything, of course, comes out of character. For me, it, it begins and ends with the character. The story only exists in the sense that you, the reader, are invested in the character and interested uh, emotionally, uh, intellectually, what happens to them. And so that's why you read on. The story is, I mean, a story is a story. I mean, there are only so many stories in the world, you know, you, and we, we keep retelling the same stories, but it's how those stories impact upon our characters that make the read interesting or not.